Michael Zolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at test two, section one, number two, which reads, the main purpose of the opening sentence of the passage is to what? So we go to the first sentence. We've got, no man likes to acknowledge that he has made a mistake in his choice of his profession, and every man worthy of the name will row long against wind and tide before he allows himself to cry out, I am baffled, and submits to be floated passively back to land. And then you read a little bit after. On the first week in my residence in X, I felt my occupation irksome. It's always a good idea to read before and after. You can't read before because it's the first sentence. Read a little bit after to get a little bit of context. And the sentence itself, it sounds like it climaxes with, I am baffled. So baffled, what is that? That's how he's feeling. And even the sentence after, I felt my occupation occupation or so so it sounds like it's giving you context like overall feeling he's like hey you guys could relate to me right this is how I'm feeling so with that we go to the answer choice it's the main purpose of the opening sentence answer choice a establish an average perspective on a controversy in order for there to be a controversy there has to be strong opposite opinions people have to be debating or fighting over a certain something there is nothing here to fight about it's just telling telling you that he um, is frustrated with his job. Frustrated and confused. Answer choice B. Provide context useful in understanding the narrator's emotional state. That makes sense. Emotion, feeling, irksome, baffled. We'll look at the other answer choices though. Answer choice C. Offer a symbolic representation of Edward Crimsworth's plight. Now this might make sense if the narrator is Edward Crimsworth. Actually, it still wouldn't make sense. But the problem is, I've also cut from line 26 to 39 or so. And it says here, but this was not all, when we start over here, but this was not all the antipathy which had sprung up between myself and my employer. Edward Crimsworth is his employer. And then the next paragraph starts with, antipathy is the only word which can express the feeling Edward Crimsworth had for me. So it's how... Crimsworth feels about the narrator. It's not the narrator himself. C is gone. Answer choice D. Yeah, so Crimsworth mentioned way too late in the passage for that to be a valid answer. D. Contrast the narrator's good intentions with his malicious conduct. That would be like, hey, I mean to do something good, but uh, in real, in reality, I'm doing something bad. Mal in Spanish means bad. Um, malicious means done with intent to harm. So that doesn't make any sense at all. Neither in these lines nor in the rest of the passage do we find the narrator up to no good looking to harm someone else. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with these main purpose questions. So any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.